Hey guys, so sorry about no video last week, but I have a good reason and I'm about to tell you what it is. So things have just been really crazy lately and that is because this week is my final week of my day job, which means that next week I start going full time with all authorly and writerly things, which I'm so excited about. That means for this channel that there are going to be more videos, more videos more frequently, more lives, and more collabs. I have a bunch coming up really soon, one with Mari Suggs, iWriterly, Mandy Lynn, our Judy Writes from Instagram. We're gonna talk about critique partners, so stay tuned for that. And I'm also working on a few course ideas that I have, and if you guys want to see any specific kind of courses on anything I've touched on so far, or anything you have questions on, please let me know below because I want to create things that are going to help you guys so much. In addition to that, obviously I'm still working on my book. I was trying to make it to Pitch Wars this year, which I'm not, but I made so much progress. I have 32,000 words in the book, so yay! So yeah, there's a lot going on, and again, if you want to stay in the know and be the first to know about everything that I'm putting out and doing, you can now join my newsletter, which I'll link below, but this week I just really needed to keep it simple and light, and so we are doing the author trivia tag, which I have been tagged by author Maverick Moses, who's pretty cool. He's got a really interesting concept for his book, so I'm linking him below so you can check him out. Thanks, Maverick. But yeah, we just have to share 10 random facts about ourselves. And of course, I'm like, what the heck do I share? And so you wonderful people on Instagram helped me out and gave me some questions. And yeah, so let's do this. Okay, so question number one actually comes from Maverick Moses. And he says, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, I have been told that when I was younger, I would tell my parents that I wanted to be a singer a dancer, a doctor, and a frog. Yeah, a frog. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Maybe it came from Kermit the Frog, but um, yeah, that's what uh, what I want to be. And then as I got a bit older, um, I've sort of talked about this a little bit before, but I really fell in love not only with storytelling, but with telling story through music. And so I wanted to be a singer songwriter for a very long time. I loved American Idol, Kelly Clarkson, when she won American Idol, I was just like, oh my gosh, that's what I want to do. And um, I meant to audition and I just never did, but I did end up writing enough songs to fill a whole album, which I recorded recorded in college and put on iTunes at that time. And so they're a little old, but if you want to check them out, I'll link that below because that's just sort of fun. And I'm excited that I got to do that. This second question comes from my good friend, Rebecca K. Sampson. And she asked a question that sort of takes us in a similar vein, but she says, I want to know about the extra channels you have and your singing voice. Um, so I do have two other YouTube channels here on YouTube. One of them is centered around my music and I started it around high school I think and then did some stuff also in college on there of like old covers and some originals and some collabs with other people um, but then about a year ago I tried to transition it into like a more music teaching channel where I did a few videos about how to learn how to play guitar really fast like easily so that was fun for a little while but I actually really enjoy teaching more one-on-one -on -one, like in person so I transitioned into a different channel which I'll tell you about in a second but because she asked about my singing voice I figured that it'd be sort of cool to give you a little taste of my singing on here and hopefully you guys like it and get a kick out of it and I feeling so
I hope you guys enjoyed that. And again, if you want to hear more my voice really from like over 10 years ago, uh, you can check out my other channel. But my second channel is called Positively Brit, which I also started about a year ago. And the premise was uh, building a more positive, productive and purpose filled life. And it was basically an experimental channel where I just wanted to do all the things that I was interested in. Um, and that included talking about minimalism and capsule wardrobes. Uh, I did some bullet journal videos and I also did a few meditation videos that actually one of them is over like 300,000 views right now and it, that's just really cool. So um, those things are more um, less of what I'm doing. I'm obviously putting full force into this channel but Rebecca asked and so again if you guys want to check them out you can. They're linked below. Our third question comes from the writer Kimberly and she asks did you do any activities in high school, sports, clubs, etc.? Um, I am not very athletic. My brothers got that skill and I did not. I have two younger brothers if you're wondering. I did play rec soccer uh, like in elementary school, middle school, but once high school hit it was like all choirs and theater. So that's a lot of what I was involved with at school and then I was also really involved in my youth group and my church and so went to a lot of retreats and did a lot of activities like that as well. Our fourth question is from Mandy Lynn Wrights and you stinker, she asked, uh, what is your most embarrassing moment? And um, honestly, I try to avoid these as much as possible, um, but one sticks out in my brain from elementary school. So I was very embarrassed then, it's sort of funny now, but um, we were at recess and my friends made me laugh so hard that I peed my pants and they uh, felt so bad. They were so nice, they came around me like a barrier as we walked to the nurse's station and um but the thing that made it even more sad and embarrassing is that my crush who like never talked to me chose that day to actually call out to me like he wanted to talk to me and I, we were walking to the nurse's office hoping he couldn't tell that I'd beat my pants and I was just like uh sorry gotta go bye and for some reason that really sticks out in my brain so embarrassing moment there you go question number five came from author charity ryan and hers was a sweet question it said are you thinking about adding kids into the mix in your life and so if you didn't know i am married to my wonderful husband ben and uh we definitely want to have kids god willing at some point um but we are just so enjoying our time together and we really want to make the most of the time that we have and build our marriage so that when we have kids we have a strong um, connection and are unified in how we bring up our kids and we love taking trips and stuff uh, so uh, we've been doing that and having so much fun it's been about three and a half years and uh, but we are thinking about kids and praying about it and uh, yeah so we'll see especially in this new season um, where I get to really work from home uh, we'll see what happens so I'll keep you updated and you guys this next question reminded me that I did not have any kind of drink for our little chats that we have which made me sad because the next question comes from from JC Scrabba. So sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, um, but it's up on the screen. And uh, she asks, what is your all time favorite writing drink? Uh, coffee, tea, soda, etc." cetera. Um, to be honest, guys, it is water. I need to stay hydrated and I often forget. So I love having water with me, but I do sometimes do tea and Spoiler, I am not that much of a coffee drinker. Um, I don't really like it, which makes me really sad because there's so many cute like coffee mugs. And so yeah, sometimes I, I just put water in them because they're so darn cute. Number seven is sort of a combo between uh, a question from Morgan Jean Ellis who asks, what's your favorite milkshake? And author Natasha Menke who asks, what weird snack combination do you enjoy? And so um, milkshake wise, I definitely go cookies and cream and combination of a weird snack combo thing. Uh, I don't know, weird? Uh... Sometimes I have like cucumbers and hummus, but then I also do cheese, like not on top, but just like in the same like snackage time. Um, I don't know if that's weird, but that's the only thing I can think of. What kind of weird snacks do you guys like? I mean, am I, am I missing something that's just like weird, but like really yummy? Please tell me in the comments. For question eight, I did get a writing question, and this is a combo between questions from bookb.rd, who asks, when did you decide to start writing? And Rudy Smiles, who asks, how long have you been writing? Well, I've been a writer of stories in some form ever since I can remember, um, but like I said before, it started off more with songs, and I 
have this, it's actually on film, this moment where um, I'm a toddler and my mom's like videotaping me and uh, she's talking to me and we're singing different things and then I tell her that I wrote a song, which I was like always saying, like I wrote a song. And so I started singing this really morbid song that was about like someone in a car crash and you can hear on the recording that I'm just singing and she died and she died <laughs> and I'm just like watching this as an adult being like, what is going on? So yeah, so I, I got really creative as, as a little one and uh, that came through in all kinds of writing. If you wanna know a little bit more about um, how I actually started writing fiction, I definitely share that a lot already in some of my other tags, which I'll link down below and in the cards, but uh, yeah, writing has always been a part of my life in some way. All right, number nine is going to be like a lightning round where I just answer really quick um, some of these shorter questions. So here we go. Danielle asks, uh, what ethnicity are you? And I am Italian and French Canadian. Um, Marlo York asks, what's your favorite mythological creature and why? Um, I, I'm going to state the obvious and just say fairies. Um, my book right now is about fairies and I think my love for them started when I uh, got really into Peter Pan and Hook and uh, just the lore that sort of came from the Peter Pan book. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go with fairies. Author M. Elizabeth asks, uh, what's your favorite Disney character? Girl, this is like trying to pick your favorite book or your favorite movie and it's just impossible. But if I have to narrow it down to maybe just like Disney princesses, I'll have to say uh, probably Ariel or Belle. Okay, I picked two, sorry. And the final question was asked by my friend Michael who asked a very meaningful question. So we're gonna end it on a little bit more of a serious note, but he says, what was the darkest point in your life? And um, I think this is meaningful too for writers because we can draw from these kind of experiences to bring more depth to our writing and the messages we're trying to say. But um, the darkest part was probably in college. Um, I was engaged to somebody that I was dating for a very long time and thought my life was going in a particular direction and uh, sort of got the rug pulled out from under me and that sort of ended and I was a mess for a really long time. But through that, I really felt like I got to solidify who I really am. Um, I felt like God really helped me uh, through that process and showed me that my identity doesn't rest in anybody or anything or any position that I I hold but it only rests in in who I am and who I am in God and so that was a super transformational uh, time in my life from total low point darkness and not knowing what's going on to um, figuring out more of who I am and what I'm meant to do so uh, thanks for asking Michael we'll just end it with that okay guys well those are my 10 facts I hope you enjoy learning a little bit more about me and now I'm going to tag some of you to do this tag I'm going to tag hopeful happenings Hannah Van Gorkum and Peggy Spencer, and you can find their channels below. So I'm tagging those wonderful people, wonderful author tubers, and obviously I am tagging any of you that would like to do this as well. Please let me know if you do it. I would love to watch it, and I'm excited to see you guys in the comments and see you very much more, very much more, very much more, we're gonna go with it, very much more uh, in the coming weeks as I go full time with author things and writing things. And I hope you'll join me on this journey. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you're excited to see what's coming up next. And definitely make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss anything. Until next week, happy writing guys.